welcome to all of you today we discuss the pharmacology of anti parkinson drugs let us start with the questions and their specific answers one which neuron involved in parkinsonism there is dopaminergic neuron cholinergic neurons and gabaergic neurons two the pathophysiologic mechanism for parkinsonism therapy is a selective loss of dopaminergic neurons this is the mechanism or major mechanism by which parkinsons disease occur if we recover the dopaminergic neuron or increase the level of dopamine in brain regions then we protect the symptom of parkinsonism three which of the following neurotransmitter is involved in parkinson's disease dopamine acetylcholine and glutamate neurotransmitters involved in parkinson's disease four use of carbidopa along with levodopa in the treatment of parkinsonism minimizes the on off effect five indicate the drug that induces parkinson syndrome that is chlorpromazine an antipsychotic drug six tolerance to the anti parkinsonian action develops most rapidly in case of amantadine seven principal aim for treatment of parkinsonian disorder is there are three major aim which target the symptomatic relief of parkinson's disease first is the to restore the normal balance of cholinergic and dopaminergic effect on the basal ganglia with antimuscarinic drugs second to restore dopaminergic activity with levodopa and dopamine agonist and third one is the to decrease glutamatergic activity with glutamate antagonist there are three major targets to achieve the symptomatic relief in parkinson disease first to anticholinergic action second one is dopamine agonistic activity and third one is glutamate antagonist activity is required to reduce the symptom of parkinsonism eight select the agent which is preferred in the treatment of drug induced form of parkinsonism that is benzotropin is used in drug induced parkinsonism nine the following drug is added to levodopa therapy of parkinsonism to reduce wearing off effect that is selegilin then the following category of drug is not indicated in early or mild case of parkinsonism disease that is comt inhibitor examples are entacapone and tolcapone 11 which of the following agent is the precursor of dopamine that is levodopa 12 indicate a peripheral dopa decarboxylase inhibitor that is carbidopa 13 the main reason for giving levodopa the precursor of dopamine instead of dopamine is dopamine does not cross the blood brain barrier 14 the mechanism of carbidopa action is inhibition of dopa decarboxylase 15 which of the following preparation combines carbidopa and levodopa in a fixed proportion that is levocarb or cocarildopa 16 when carbidopa and levodopa are given concomitantly or simultaneously what happens levodopa blood levels are increased and drug half life is lengthened the dose of levodopa can be significantly reduced by 75% also reducing the toxic side effects of levodopa a shorter latency period precedes the occurrence of beneficial effects 17 which of the following statement is correct for levodopa 
दैट इज टॉलरेंस टू बोथ बेनिफिशियल एंड एडवर्स इफेक्ट डेवलप्स ग्रेजुअली विथ लिवोडोपा एंड लिवोडोपा इज मोस्ट इफेक्टिव इन द फर्स्ट टू टू फाइव ईयर ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट एंड आफ्टर फाइव ईयर ऑफ थेरेपी पेशेंट हैव डोज रिलेटेड डिस्काइनेशिया इन आडिक्यूट रेस्पॉन्स और टॉक्सिसिटी एटीन गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल इरिटेशन कार्डियोवेस्कुलर इफेक्ट्स इंक्लूडिंग टैकी कार्डिया अरिदमिया एंड ऑर्थोस्टैटिक हाइपोटेंशन मेंटल डिस्टर्बेंसिस एंड विथड्रावल्स आर द पॉसिबल एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ लिवोडोपा नाइनटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एजेंट इज द मोस्ट हेल्पफुल इन काउंटरैक्टिंग और रिड्यूसिंग द बिहेवियर कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ लिवोडोपा दैट इज क्लोजापिन दैट इज एंटीसाइकोटिक ट्वेंटी द फॉलोइंग ड्रग कॉम्बिनेशन शुड नॉट बी यूज इन पार्किंग सोनिस दैट इज एमटाडीन एंड एंटीकोलिनर्जिक शुड नॉट बी एडमिनिस्टर टू द पेशेंट हैविंग पार्किंगसन डिजीज ट्वेंटी वन द पार्किंगसोनियन ड्रग विच एक्ट बाय इनहिबिटिंग द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ डोपामिन इन ब्रेन इज सिलेजिलिन ट्वेंटी टू द विटामिन रिड्यूसेस द बेनिफिशियल इफेक्ट ऑफ लिवोडोपा by enhancing its metabolism in brain that is pyridoxine 23 which of the following drug antagonizes the effect of levodopa because it leads to junctional blockage of the dopamine action that is reserpine haloperidol and chlorpromazine 24 indicate a selective inhibitor of monoamine oxidase b that is selegilin 25 levodopa should not be given to a patient taking monoamine oxidase a inhibitors 26 indicate d2 receptor agonist with anti parkinson activity that is bromocriptin 27 the correct statement is monoamine oxidase a mao a which metabolizes norepinephrine and serotonin mao b which metabolizes dopamine 28 the main reason for avoiding the combined administration of levodopa and an inhibitor of both form of monoamine oxidase is hypertensive emergencies 29 indicate selective catecholamine orthomethyl transferase comt inhibitor which prolongs the action of levodopa by decreasing its peripheral metabolism that is tolcapone 30 which of the following anti parkinsonian drug is an antiviral agent used in the influenza a2 that is amantadine 31 The mechanism of amantadine action is indirect dopamine releasing action and a direct stimulation of dopamine receptors and antagonist of the NMDA type of glutamate receptor weak antagonist 32 which of the following anti parkinsonism drug is an anticholinergic agent that is trihexyphenidyl 33 mental confusion and hallucination peripheral atropine like toxicity are possible adverse effect of benzotropin 34 indicate the anti parkinsonism drug which should be avoided in patient with glaucoma that is trihexyphenidyl 35 the most effective drug in parkinsonism is levodopa plus carbidopa 36 in parkinsonian patient levodopa exert the following effect that is decreases the muscle tone increases locomotor activity and inhibits muscle tremor 37 the dopamine d2 receptor has the following feature it negatively coupled to adrenal cyclase 38 the usual cardiovascular effect of levodopa is bradycardia due to increased vagal tone and rise in blood pressure due to increased noradrenaline level 39 loss or alteration of taste sensation can occur 
as a side effect of levodopa, captopril, and penicillamine. 40. The following adverse effect of levodopa is not minimizing by combining it with carbidopa that is involuntary movement. Involuntary movement is not reduced by combining carbidopa with levodopa. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.